Welcome, friends. Today we're diving into an important topic for every Christian, what not to do when we pray. Prayer is a big part of our faith. It's how we talk to God, share our hearts, ask for help, and find peace. But did you know there are ways we can get it wrong? Sometimes, without even realizing it, we might pray in ways that miss the mark. In this video, we'll explore two mistakes Jesus taught us to avoid when praying and how to make our prayers more genuine and effective. The first mistake is hypocrisy. Jesus warned us not to pray like the hypocrites who only do it to be seen by others. They're more focused on looking spiritual than actually connecting with God. Have you ever seen someone praying loudly just to show off? That's what Jesus is talking about. When we pray, it should come from a sincere heart, not for attention or praise from people. Instead, Jesus tells us to pray in secret, where it's just us and God. That's where real, honest communication happens. The second mistake is vain repetition. Jesus also cautioned against repeating empty words over and over, thinking that's what makes a prayer powerful. It's not about saying the same thing again and again, it's about speaking to God from the heart. God already knows what we need before we ask Him, so our prayers should be genuine conversations, not memorized scripts. Think of it like this. If a child kept asking their parent for something by saying the same words over and over, it wouldn't be very meaningful, right? But if they spoke honestly, sharing their feelings and needs, that would be different. God wants us to talk to Him in that same way, open, real, and from the heart. So, how can we pray the right way? It's simple. Be real. Be honest. Talk to God like you would talk to a friend. Share your joys, your worries, and your hopes. Ask Him for guidance and strength. And always remember, it's not about the length of the prayer or the fancy words we use. It's about the sincerity of our hearts. Two powerful examples from the Bible show us how to pray this way. First is the story of Hannah, who prayed with deep emotion, asking God for a child. She wasn't trying to impress anyone, she was pouring out her heart to God, and God heard her. The second story is of King Hezekiah, who prayed earnestly when his city was under threat. He prayed with complete trust in God, and God delivered him from a great danger. These stories remind us that when we pray with sincerity and trust, God hears us, He knows our hearts, and He responds. So, let's make sure our prayers are meaningful and real. Avoid praying to be seen by others, or just repeating empty words. Instead, focus on genuine, heartfelt communication with God. And remember, prayer isn't about getting what we want. It's about growing closer to God and aligning our hearts with His will. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about deepening your prayer life, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We've got more great content coming your way. And check out the next video on the screen, where we'll explore the power of fasting as another way to draw closer to God. Thanks for watching, and God bless.